Wait, is this real? Is he up 45,000 in crypto? Insane. Hi, I'm Lauren Simmons. I'm the Wolf at a Wall Street, and I'm gonna be reacting to a video of living on 150,000 a year in LA. All righty, I'm excited to dive in. Let's get started. My name is Terzel Ron. I am 25 years old. I make about $150,000 a year, and I live in Los Angeles, California. That is the way to do it. You should have multiple streams of income. If you think you're going to get your salary off of doing one thing, you are grandly mistaken. And I think Gen Zers have definitely have found the secret sauce because they have 5,001 jobs, <laughs> which, is, which is amazing. So I do work every single day and I have been working every single day for probably five years now. I love it. Going, going, going can be great, especially when you're building an empire, but you also want to just take a, a, a breath and be present in the moment and enjoy everything that you're building in the process. I grew up in a family of six and we were all illegal immigrants. Oh, so wow. money was not something that we had a lot of access to and economically things were rough growing up. I started to really realize that school was the way to achieve more financial success later down the road. As someone who um, has a very similar story as his, I think the appreciation that you can have with life and you know building an American dream and making a salary where you can be comfortable is rewarding when you actually see it. To get there, there are a lot of sac sacrifices that have to be made, and to have had three jobs while in high school is insane. And where he's at today, I think that that's super motivating. Sometimes it was very hard in terms of eating, in terms of sleeping. I wouldn't end up leaving school until about 6 or 7 p.m. to get back home around 10. And I had to wake up at 5 to leave at 6 the next day. That was already preparing him for working in any kind of environment, especially when we're talking about entertainment hosting, writing, the hours are crazy. You never really know what your hours are. I believe that life gives us little cookie crumbles towards our future. And for him, he was doing this in high school that once he became an adult and started doing his own thing, this was a lot more easier than most people because he already had been preparing for this earlier on. Most of my expenses with my girlfriend are split 50-50, such as the rent, but we do take different bills. I'm more than happy to pay the entire balance. However, my girlfriend really insists on paying half. The bulk of his $8,947 is going to savings and investments, which is really nice. I mean, I don't see anything else that he could really cut back on. He's doing a pretty good job. Drizelle owes 5,000 in federal student loans, but his payments were paused due to COVID. I think everyone is a little bit up in the air of what's gonna happen with Biden. Is he gonna cancel the 10,000? Of course, if he does cancel 10,000, then he won't even have to look towards his 5,000. And honestly, that could be, you know, 5,000 that he can put towards something else. Growing up, I had a lot of health issues and so did my mom and seeing these health issues really bothered me and made me realize the importance of having health insurance. I actually grew up missing a tooth uh, in front of my mouth until I was 18, until oh, wow. I was a freshman at NYU. And so I always wanted braces. My family never had money for braces. And I sort of realized that I needed to get that money myself. Are Trezell and I like twin flames? Cause, oh my goodness, that's kind of like my story. My family could not afford to get me braces. And I, if you look at my old CNBC videos, you'll see. So I would say that I save about four to six thousand dollars a month. Wait, is this real? Is he up forty-five thousand in crypto? Insane. He has a total of seventy-one thousand saved, which is amazing on his salary. I just would probably diversify his money just a little bit more. Just saying, forty-five thousand in crypto is a lot. At the end of the day, it comes down to what is your risk tolerance? What are you prioritizing over anything else? For me, as someone who is really conservative, and people are going to knock me, invest in crypto and invest in crypto. I'm sure those same people today are probably not saying the same thing. So you know, I think I'm doing a good job what I'm doing. There are other 
ways to be able to hedge against inflation. And I think what today's times is telling us is that crypto is not a direct hedge against inflation. I do have a Roth IRA and I also have a SEP IRA. He has a Roth IRA, he has a uh, SEP IRA, which is really good because he's saving towards his future, towards retirement, which is... So I do try to diversify my investments and not put all of my eggs in one basket in terms of investments. I do have money in cryptocurrency. I've invested, I'd say probably $10,000 in cryptocurrency that has more than quadrupled at this point. Okay, so he says that he put 10,000, he didn't put 40,000, so he put 10 and it grew to 40. I think that's great. I do think diversifying your portfolio really makes sense. If it grew to 40, then taking some of that money out and putting it towards other investments, again, maybe equities, maybe index funds, maybe ETFs, putting it into something that isn't as speculative, that isn't gonna drop as much, and that'll help cushion you because nothing worse than putting 10,000 in, growing it to 40, 60, 80, and then dropping back to zero. And that has been the reality of some people that have invested into crypto. This is someone who invests more conservative so like that's my ethos and how i look at personal finance across the board you're going to have different answers my younger self would be very proud of me and actually i'm not surprised that i am where i am today because when i was 16 going through two and a half hours to get to school and eating once a day and even at that point at 16 i wrote down by 25 i'll be making well over six figures by 30 i'll be a millionaire that's always been my goal I love it. He's someone that has been working on his work ethic for quite some time. I could see him being a millionaire. He definitely is looking at the long-term financial goal. From one to 10, I would give Trezell an eight. And my only hesitation is that crypto thing, but you know, we could talk about it. 